Lori here with my bathing garden haul for the Valentine's Day collection. I was super excited to get to purchase. I know we're at a low buy <laughs> and I've told you, I think the low buy has gone out the window for most of us anyway. And yeah, I wasn't counting this because to me, I mean, it's a once a year order and I know that was something that Drew was saying in terms of, you know, there were certain things that were exceptions and to me this is an exception because it comes out once a year it's not like I can get it you know again in June so I'm not counting it <laughs> it's I'm going with it we'll, we'll just go with that thought process so I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below and I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber I'm so glad to have you as a part of this channel Okay, so I did get a couple of sugar scrubs as well, which was awesome, and then some wax. She does, she's very, very generous with samples, and I have already opened this up. Look how cute this is with all of the Izzy and <laughs> cute little um, lipstick prints. I couldn't think, I was thinking kisses, but yeah, lipstick prints. You know, I looked, when I first started purchasing, I was like, wow, you know, they're a little bit, the clamshells are a little bit more expensive than I was thinking, and I was like, oh, the shipping. But to me, all of the samples that she includes, it makes everything worth it because I find some great scents, and you just feel so pampered with the orders, and it, to me, it's all worth it, so. And I love her sugar scrubs. She has the best sugar scrubs anywhere. Okay, so I tried to pare down a little bit this year because, you know, last year was my first year ordering from her and I know better what scents I really like from her and what I want to keep in my collection. I do, <laughs> I do tend to cure my wax for a year with her and it's not necessary. I know a lot of people are like, what? You don't need to, I, you know, experiment. I melt her samples pretty quickly after I receive them and I'm sure they're not a year old so and they do fine for me especially here in this office it's just because I have now gone through all of 2021 and purchased from her collections and put them aside and so now I'm starting to melt those collections from last year so I'll be melting Valentine's and the circus, circus collection those are the two um you know, like February and I think March, I think early on in March, I want to say hopefully we'll get circus collection soon because I know that's a big one. That'll be a big order for sure for me. And so I put all those aside and I just did that with every order. So I'm not saying you need to do that. Try it. Try, test some scents. Sniff it. See if it smells, you know, good and strong to you and cold and then test it out with a scent and see how it works for you after, you know, a month or two or whatever the case might be, whatever you feel comfortable with, it's all going to depend on what works for you and your warmers in your house. Okay. Jump into the wax here. All right. A lot of these I purchased two of that way. If I absolutely love the scent, cause some of them are new to me. If I absolutely love the scent, I have two or that way I have enough to put in all of my warmers I can use these in my tea lights and then only use one pack at a time. So I may do that, but if I put them in my larger warmers, I need two clamshells. So this is Very Contrary Berry, and I did write down the scent notes. She does not put scent notes or pour dates on. I wish that she at least put the scent notes on, but I look them up. <laughs> and sometimes I forget and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't find it. So I think there's one in here that I couldn't find the scent notes. Berry jelly beans blend with raspberry tarts, wild berry custard, and blackberry sorbet. I have really been looking for some good raspberry scents. So, I mean, look at how gorgeous. I mean, you know, there's there's no <laughs> doubt that her wax is absolutely stunning. And this smells... <sighs> so, I will say, I did go through and sniff all of these. Her raspberry smells floral to me, which I'm a little disappointed on. A lot of raspberries from vendors do tend to lean floral, and I was really hoping that it wasn't because I thought I got something and it wasn't. But maybe it was a sample and I melted it and it changed. So it could, because sometimes they transform on warming. I'm hoping it does. This to me smells like a wild berry raspberry floral. 
Yeah, unfortunately, that's what I'm getting. I mean, it is kind of creamy, so I, I can see how they're saying the sorbet. But this, to me, smells like a body care scent, not necessarily an edible scent. So I'm a little bummed by that, but, you know, I could use this in my bathroom, and I'm sure I would really enjoy this. But I was hoping for more of a blackberry raspberry sorbet and be really strong on the raspberry. So we'll see how this melts. It's gorgeous, like I said. And we'll give it a try and see if it transforms. But, and I did get several <laughs> raspberry and they're all leaning floral to me. So I'm a little like, oh no, but we'll see. So the next one is raspberry hearts. And I probably should have only got one raspberry, but I was like, I think, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't like a floral type. Mm. This is strawberry slices, raspberries, and white cake bites. So again, absolutely gorgeous. And this, it does kind of smell like a raspberry cake. I, that's what it smells like. I don't know that I get any strawberry. Yeah, this is less floral and maybe it's the strawberry sweetening, sweetening it up a little. Because I can't necessarily pick out the strawberry. But it almost has a candy element to it. With like some cake. So this is better. I wouldn't say this is much as much of a body care smell to me. I'm going to give it obviously cure time and then, you know, we'll see how this transforms on warming. But yeah, again, a little floral, but not as much as the first one. Okay. So another raspberry scent, raspberry coconut mousse. I got two of these. This says tart raspberry blended with coconut mousse and topped with coconut drizzle. So you've got that on the top. I feel like this one is layered because I was watching Drew's haul and some I think he th they smelled layered to him where like the top was a different scent than the bottom and others weren't. I feel like this one is layered because I feel like I get more of this raspberry cake type of a thing. I mean, it does kind of smell like raspberry cake, almost like that other one with... It almost, did he say this too? Cause it almost smells like, and maybe, maybe not, but I'm thinking in my head, it smells a little bit like mint. I don't know what, like just a hint. I don't know that I get super coconutty. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, it's not bad, it, you know, which it doesn't sound like raspberry and mint would go together, but it smells nice. I just don't know why my nose is playing tricks on me for this one. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Let me smell the other one too on the top. Yeah. I mean, I'll, just like a, a little hint of it. It's like a creamy light. I don't know. I, I, I'm i guessing that one is going to transform on warm. I doubt that it's going to smell like mint because there's no mint in this. And I don't even think I got a mint scent. So I, you know, I'm thinking it's going to transform on warming and I think it's going to be fabulous. Whoops. All right. My box is going to fall. All right. <laughs> All right. Next ones that I picked up were Harley Loves Joker. And I believe I had this last year and warmed it already, actually. So like I said, I've tested some of them out and so it was fine. I really like this one. Let's see. It says shortbread cookies, coconut cream, and sugar sprinkles. So it's basically, yeah, that's what it smells like. I mean, her coconut is not super strong. It's like a coconut macaroon almost. That's what it kind of smells like, but it's not super overly strong. Yeah, this one's nice. It's gonna need some time. I really think this needs some time. Usually Vanilla Bakery does. It's kind of funny because you would expect it to be a different scent just because of the vibrant colors that she has, but it's not. It's coconut vanilla type of scent. Okay, this next one I could not find. <laughs> could not find the scent notes for this one. It is Love Story. And let me just, because I mean, there are beautiful dried flower petals in there that are falling. And this one, I'm trying to remember, because I had this one, this one actually, really, this one actually smells like mint. I'm wondering if this has mint in it. So I usually store my wet, well, not these. I was going to say I store them separate, like my mint and my coffee are totally separate from everything. But yeah, this might be the mint. 
this smells almost like almost a little bit like winter green and vanilla interesting maybe some pink sugar in there I, I mean I don't know but <laughs> really really nice but I definitely am getting a mint vibe from this one I need to keep that away I guess maybe it's leaching over to the other one I don't know why it would be but weird okay so I'm gonna butcher this one I cannot speak French it's chocolat <laughs> Francais from boy from I don't know I'm butchering it. I told you I would. Okay. So this is basically dark shaved chocolate topped with sugar dusted raspberries. Not my language. This is also super cute. Look at that. The bottom. So this is the same. It's kind of like the, the florally raspberry with chocolate. On the bottom, I feel like it's more dark chocolate. Less of that. Yeah. So it's probably layered because I feel like on the top you get some of that body care, like florally raspberry. And then the bottom is definitely dark chocolate. I think this will transform on warming and it's gonna be fabulous. I got two of these. I'm super excited about this one because I love chocolate scents. Chocolate mixed with fruit, oh, so amazing. So I'm excited. I, I, you know, I think her raspberry is gonna transform because I swear I melted it before. All right, the last clamshell that I picked up was this complicated, I'm going to be honest and tell you I went back I went back in and got more of this. This is so good. So I'll show you what it looks like and then read the scent notes. Caramel coffee. I can smell. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. Caramel coffee layered with coconut, vanilla, chocolate, and crushed pretzels. This is amazing. I went back in. I was like, there's no way there's going to be any left. There was. <laughs> oh, this is such a good coffee scent. Oh, it's so good. So this is strong coffee. I wouldn't say it's skunky. I would say it does smell like a rich, dark caramel coffee that is sweetened up. I don't know that I get pretzels, but this is fabulous. This is so good. I was hoping, I was like, this needs to be in the big clamshell that she has, but mm -mm -mm. fabulous. If you love coffee, this is so good. It reminds me of those. What are they? Is it nips? <laughs> It's always a great term, right? But they had those like caramel coffee, like, I don't know, candies. But that that's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit. That's, mm, that's so good. Just delicious, decadent coffee. I love it. So I did go back in. And I went back in for this because I, I'm an idiot, honestly. <laughs> Should have got more than one, but I was trying to be good and I really always have, I truly do have the low buy in the back of my, my mind. I'm thinking, not just because, you know, of that, it's just because I'm thinking, it's made me be more conscious of my purchases and do I need this or do I just want it and I just wanna stock up to have it in the collection. And I was like, hmm, I'll just get one. <laughs> So I had major regret after seeing everybody, their hauls, and then, you know, only getting one of these because I loved this. I had this last year. I think she sent a sample, and I think I had a clam and melted it. I mean, it was so good. This is the pink sugar pie crust. Pink sugar layered under sweet pie crust. So I need this in the big clamshells as well. But she had some left, not in this shape, but in the clamshell. So I thought, you know, that's fine. So I picked up a couple clamshells of it. And I was like, okay. You know, I mean, these are adorable. You can put one in a warmer. If you have a larger warmer dish, like I do. If you have smaller, you can cut them. But mine are bigger, and they're perfect size. This is exactly what it says. A Gorgeous pink sugar. So the pink sugar is first. It's prominent. If you don't like pink sugar, you're not going to like this blend. But it's got that rich, decadent, buttery pie crust in the background. And it just makes both of them better. And it was so strong when I melted it. And I didn't cure it for a year. It was probably a few weeks when I got it because it was so cute. And it smelled so good. So I melted it. Now, would I do that again now? No, I'm going to put it aside because I want it to be at its full potential. But this is so good. Makes my mouth water and it's just fabulous. I love pink sugar in blends and this is fabulous. So yeah, if you love pink sugar, I would highly recommend the box just fell over. <laughs> I told you the box is going to fall over. I highly recommend grabbing that and, you know, stacking up. 
if she has it available. I think that's only, I don't know if she does it any other time of year, but she should. She should do it a couple of times a year because it's so good. All right, then I got two of these dark chocolate donuts, and they look like donuts. And I don't want the bags to get super messy, but they do. They look like miniature donuts. They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. Almost looks like she put, like, an overpour on top of them. Oh, it's so good. And I didn't write down the scent notes because that's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a dark chocolate donut. It does. I mean, the chocolate is so decadent and rich. And, oh. I mean, some people might say it smells a little bit like, like, a little bit has a hint of Tootsie Roll in it, but not by itself. It's like chocolate covered Tootsie Rolls. I don't know. It's so good. Yeah, I would say more so like a rich, decadent cake donut. Chocolate donut that's covered with chocolate icing. It, that's what it smells. So, yeah. I love, I love chocolate and wax. It's so good. Yes. Perfect. All right. We'll just keep the box. We'll keep the box on the floor, but we'll put the stuff in there. Then, well, let's do finish up what I ordered. So I ordered two sugar scrubs. This is pink sugar pie crust. Had to because I love pink sugar and pie crust. So 100%. I'm so happy about that. And this one I went back to get in wax. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't grab at least one clamshell of this. Love orange. So I went back when I was going in. Anyway, I thought, well, I'll put this Love Orange in there as well because I do. I love orange scents, and it's so pretty. Look at that. So I'm not going to open it and smell it because, you know, I'm going to save it for when I use it, but her sugar scrubs are the best out of any sugar scrubs I've tried. I've tried Bath & Body, Body Works. I've tried Tree Hut. I've tried, you know, other vendors, and they're nice, but this is number one to me. It's so good, so... I will always repurchase. I like to get the larger size because I use it every day. So then she sent out a free sample of a sugar scrub and this is a coconut oil sugar scrub in Harley Loves Joker. So this was a really nice, generous sample. Look at that, perfect. This is so nice. I mean, wonderful for travel, really generous. And then she gives this giant bag of samples as well. So let me dump it out and we'll go home. I literally dumped it out <laughs> and went everywhere. Okay, this first one is Pucker. I'm gonna drop in this cute little lip shape. I've had this before. I didn't order this again, but this is like a lemon sugar type of blend. It's a very sugary, like citrus goodness. So yeah, I have purchased this, like I said, in the past. I didn't grab it again this year, but I really do like it. So I would get it in the future. This is Marie Antoinette's Boudoir. <laughs> I was like, uh, this is actually not bad. This is very pretty. It's definitely a fruity body care scent. And almost like a soap. It, truly, it almost smells kind of soapy. This is actually not bad. Yeah, so it's kind of fruity. trying to think what soap it reminds me of oh I hate when that happens but like yeah definitely like berries and soapy body care scent very pretty though this one is huge this is luscious you can see through the package how large this sample is very gorgeous heart to me this sm this smells like pink fairy gumdrop that's what it smells like from Bath and Body Works that candle yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. So, very fruity candy. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's exactly what it smells like. So, I think there's a lush fragrance that, what is it, candy? What is it, candy floss or something? I don't know. I'm not a, not a lushy. <laughs> but I know the candle from Bath & Body Works. That's exactly what this smells like. Delicious, yummy. I looked for it, and I don't know if it was in that collection or not, but if it was, I missed it because it wasn't available. This is Starlight Soda Pop and this. Now I will tell you this, I did look this up and this is not, <laughs> to me this smells like a cola scent and that's not in the notes, but it's not just the color. It really does smell like a cola scent to me. But this is not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be like a fruity, like lemon lime type of fizzy. But this is cola to me. I don't know. 
So if you like those types of scents, like cola, I know a lot of you do. I'm not a huge fan of them, but if you like it, try this one because that's what it reminds me of. All right, we, we have Bohemian Rhapsody, and I've had this one before as well. I think I might still have it this year. Um, this is another one. It's a very fruity candy. And I'm trying to, that didn't help. And I'm probably going to have glitter everywhere. Um, it's very fruity. I feel like this needs more time to, yeah, it definitely needs more time to cure because it's, all I'm getting is like a, you know, generalized, a fruity type of scent. So, I mean, like kind of a berry type of a scent, but. All right, this is Parisian Strawberry Fields, and I know Lexi loves this one, and Drew picked some of this up, so I was happy because I didn't grab this. And I believe, it. well, it smells like strawberry and peach. That's what it smells like to me. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There might be something else. Because it almost smells like, is it strawberry vines too? A little bit? It's not like tomato vines because that's like very distinct. Yeah, so I would say this is strawberry and peach. That's what I'm smelling. Really, really nice scent. I can't wait to melt that because I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. This one, is this the one that Drew was like, what? <laughs> this is the wishing tree. I can't remember because I know there was one he was like, ooh, I don't like that. This one is very weird. This, okay. I, I, I mean, the only thing, I mean, this, the color doesn't match. This smells like you're outside digging in your garden. 100% that's what it smells like. I swear this smells like, and I, I don't think I could find this. It smells like dirt and plants. <laughs> I don't know why. It does. It totally, it totally smells like a garden. Like even maybe like, you know, like when you have a garden and you're turning over the soil and, um, yeah. Why am I thinking geraniums? I don't know because that's probably what I plant. And like you're digging in your garden and you're planting some new plants for the year and maybe you have some decomposing leaves. Not in a bad way, but you know, and you're just kind of tilling the soil. That's what this smells like. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but that's what it's like. Okay, so this one is another one that I went back in and was like, I have to get some more of this and she had some left. So I think I got the large clam doing so well in this little by you guys this is so strong this is a reason why I was like this blew my socks off this is I didn't even tell you mellow cookie bomb it is so strong it's like a marshmallow cookie heaven deliciousness what the marshmallow is so strong in this it's yeah it's just delicious oh my gosh so I'm thinking of like I don't know like yeah, it's definitely like a cookie with like just, I'm like picturing like a huge gooey marshmallow on top. Gosh, I love this. It's so good. And it's so strong already. So obviously I'm going to give it some cure time when it gets here. I, melt that, I might melt this in this office. Should maybe put it in my melting basket, but anyway, for Valentine's Day because of the shape. It doesn't match the color scheme we're going with but I'm so excited to see how it melts so this next one here is circus cake not to be confused with circus bread which I just did so this is more of a yeah this it's funny because it almost smells like that other thing with like the pink fairy gumdrop there's something else in this and maybe it needs some more time to cure I don't know that I would say pink sugar. It's something, there's something else in this though. I don't know. This is interesting. I need to look this up, but this is a really nice scent, but there's something I can't identify in it. It's a vanilla bakery, but there's something else in there. So check that out. But the other one is the circus bread. It's one of my favorites. I love this. The large clam of it that I will be melting this year and purchasing more because I did have some smaller clams and did melt it. It's so good. It's like that strawberry jam bready scent. 100% that's what it is. It's so good. Her strawberry is amazing. And I love, it's very yeasty bready. So if you don't like yeasty bread, forget it. <laughs> this is not for you, but I love it. It's so good. Oh, it just smells like fresh baked bread to me. 
Okay, and then we have this one, which is really interesting, Raspberry Lipstick. So I smelled this and this just took me back. It's so funny. I was thinking, so I was going through all of these scents and sniffing, and I was just thinking back to, there are so many scents that remind me of my grandmother. And I'm just like, I need to combine them. <laughs> just sniff them. Sniff them all together and make, you know, and like bring her to light in, life in, in scent, you know, in my mind. But this is so funny. It does. I don't... <sighs> I don't know how much I would want to melt of a lipstick scent. I want to try it though because it's very interesting. But it does smell like lipstick. It does. Like the old time. I was thinking like is it like Cody or even like L'Oreal. I feel like kind of smells like this. Or it used to. I don't know if it still does. But. And you get a hint of that like floral raspberry note. But mainly you get the lipstick. It's so to me, you know, I know that people have had lipstick scents and I'd never thought to get them. So I'm so glad to get a sample. I'm not saying I wouldn't buy a clamshell of this and melt it in my bathroom. We're going to see how it melts from this sample and what I think. But yeah, it just brings back so many memories. It's funny. And then this last one, I didn't open this one yet. It says, I love you. That's gorgeous. And you could, you know, give this to as a gift, you know, your mom, your sister, friend, cousin whatever, but I don't have any friends in my area that melt wax. I think they all think I'm crazy. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So let me, I mean, my family definitely does. So, I mean, look at how gorgeous this is. And so vanilla sprinkles. So let's see. Yeah, this is a really nice, this almost has like a slight coconut, like, yeah toasted coconut kind of smell to me with like a buttercream frosting that's what it reminds me of so gorgeous gorgeous I love her wax it's so pretty so those are my samples very very generous like I said she is just wonderful everything is gorgeous I have glitter probably all over me but yeah I wanted to share this haul with you and it's less than I would normally do but then again I went back in probably should have just all done it all at once but I didn't know I mean yeah, I didn't know how great this scent would be, this marshmallow cookie bomb. So hence the reason to have this spreadsheet <laughs> keep track so next year I can grab more of it. So let me know if you picked up anything at, from the Valentine's Day collection from the Bathing Garden and what was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.